Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you how to parallel compress your drums using Redrum. So, let's start off. We create a Redrum. Um, I will do two versions of this. Uh, in the first one, I'm going to um, take a whole kit and I'm going to parallel compress the entire thing. So, open up the browser. Let's go to the... Uh, let's take the regular old rock kit. How's that? Let us put in a quick pattern. We'll just randomize it. Okay, sounds pretty good. I'm going to turn down my volume because it's way too high. Okay, sounds better to me. Now, we want to compress this, so of course we are going to need a compressor. Um, we are also going to need to create a... I always get confused by these menus. Uh, create an audio spider merger splitter. Let's take it around to the back. Um, let's remove all the wonderful chords that this makes. Uh, let's take your output, put it through the spider, put a dry channel signal up to the mixer, send another signal down to the compressor and another signal back up to channel 2 of your mixer. Okay, right now everything that's going through all 10 drums are going to be both sent dry to the mixer and compressed and then sent compressed to the mixer. So the mix between these two um, or the levels between these two will affect how much of the dry signal you want and how much of the mix signal you want. Let's turn down the threshold a little bit. Let's raise the ratio a bit so we can hear some serious pumping going on. Let's reduce the attack and let's increase the release a little bit. Or actually let's reduce the release too. Let's do that. Let's also turn up the input just a little bit. Um, let's turn up the output just a little bit and then let's play this through. So there's your compressed sound. As you can see, you probably need a little bit more input gain. More output. Get it till you've got a good feel. Alright, it's probably a little too hot. Now there's your compressed sound, and now if you want, you can reduce the compressed sound, introduce some of the dry sound. Okay, but in this way, all the drums are getting processed through the compressor. Okay, perfect. Now let's say you don't want all the drums compressed, you only want this kick on channel one. Whoops. You only want that kick to be compressed. Easy enough. Switch around. Instead of these outputs going in there, you are going to take the outputs and send this to... Actually, let's remove this. Uh, let's send the main... Let's do this over again, so I'll just show you from scratch. Uh, okay. What you're going to do, you're going to send the main outputs of all the drums to channel 1. You're going to send the kick into this wonderful spider merger splitter. You're going to send one output to channel two. You're going to send another output to the audio input of the compressor. Another one goes to the output so that channel three becomes compressed. Okay, let's switch it around. You'll see channel three is your compressed kick. Okay and channel 2 is your dry kick, and then channel 1 is the rest of the redrum drums. So when you play it, that's exactly what's happening. You can mute all the drums and just hear the kick. And you can mix your kick. And you can listen to the rest of the drums next to the kick. Okay, so that's uh, 
parallel compression using the re-drum um, on either your kick or just one drum at a time or on the overall uh, mix all the drums together. Hope you've enjoyed this. Again, I'm Rob. Come visit me at reason101.net for more tutorials and tips and tricks and all kinds of fun. Thanks for watching.